All right, chip of the day. Almost everybody loves chip of the day. It's like a uh, hundred pretty girls and three ugly ones. Um, anyway, <laughs> you've ever, anyway, I won't talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to be a CD4555 and it is a uh, dual two to four demultiplexer uh, or decoder. You can call it either way. Uh, they say it's a one of four decoder. No, it's a two of four decoder. Why do they call it a one of four decoder? That's just weird. Um, one of four, de that doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look at what we got here. I think it makes more sense to uh, just show it to you running and then we'll describe uh, the theory of it, okay? Let me move you guys. Let's hook up some power here. And uh, we're gonna have uh, six LEDs, two in, four out. Um, this, these two are the ins, so I'll put them at zero, zero. Okay, so the ins are now zero, zero. And I get this one lit, okay? And then we'll do zero, one. And we get this one lit. And then we'll do one, zero. One zero, and I'm losing my wires. You get this one lit. And then if I do one one, we get this one lit, okay? So zero 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 one one zero zero one one. And so whatever this two bit combination is, you will enable one of these four outputs. So I call that a two to four, a two to four decoder, not a one to four decoder. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at what we are doing and then how it works, okay? So, uh, we have two inputs, okay? And so we'll call them A and B. And then we have outputs 1, 2, 3, and 4. Call them O, O, 0. I mean, uh, output 1, output 2, output 2, output 4, okay? And it's not focusing. There we go. I put it in manual focus. So it won't fight me. All right. So we can write a truth table or just what we want it to do. So when we zero zero, we want this one lit or high. And if we say um, zero one, it'll be um, A and B are probably backwards, but it doesn't matter. You can label them anything you want to. There we go. So there's the truth table, right? So here's the values in, and this is what we want out, okay? So we can actually write the equations, okay? So what is this? Well, if uh, let's see here. Let me scooch down a bit here. All right. So for this one, we have not A and not B. So when both are low, this is true. Here, we just have uh, B. Okay. And not A. That's what this one is. In here, we have A and not B. And here we have A and B. All right. So this, these are the, uh, looks, looks kind of funny. These are the truth tables for the thing that we're trying to get. Okay. So let's take a look at how the part is constructed. All right. So we have two different parts here. This is the five, 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 six, and this is the five, 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 five. So this is the one that we want. The only difference here is you see there's extra inversions on the output. So one is low true and one is high true. And we have the high true version. Okay. And so this is actually the circuitry that, uh, is in the part. Okay. There's an extra pin here. That's the enable pin. And I didn't show that in my, uh, circuit over there, but, that also has to be high um, if you want 
actually has to be low. It's, it's low true logic. So when enable is low, then this part is functional. You always get something out. But if this is high, then these will always be zero, 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 zero. Um, and we'll see how that works as well. Okay. So let's take a look at a bigger picture of this so I can write on it. So here we have A and B and this enable. And let's just start from the output. So here are all the outputs, okay? And there's inversions on all the outputs. So whatever logic we have back here, the inverse is true here. Then it's gonna go into AND gates. These are all three input AND gates, but they are NAND gates, not AND. And so that NOT and that NOT cancel. And so basically, this is just AND. From, from here out is just a three input AND. So this AND, this AND, this have to be true for this to be, for this to be enabled, right? All right. So the third one is always the, um, is always the enable line, okay? So if enable is low, and then this side is high, and then we'll have high, 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 high here, okay? So these AND gates are always turned on with that enable. So we can just think about these as just AND gates, all right? So what do we have here, okay? We have, here's A, right here is not A, right here is not B, Okay, here is A and here is B. Okay, so it gets inverted once for a not A and gets inverted again for an A. Here it gets inverted for a not B and gets inverted for a B. So what do we have coming in here? Well, we have not A and not B. Okay, so not A, not B is, is, is this one's lit up. So zero, zero, you get a high here, okay? So what one's this? This is A, and this one is not B, not B. So A and not B, so one zero gives you this one high. Here we have B and not A. So zero one gives you a high. And here we have A, and here we have B, so A and B gives you, so one, one gives you this one true. So there's all of your logic all laid out. So you can either write it in Boolean algebra, you can write it as a truth table, um, but you're gonna end up with, uh, with the same thing. I like what they've done here. Uh, this is the way that I always draw schematics. Normally you would draw in an, an inverter like this, right? You would have uh, a triangle and a little a little circle at the end. That's an inverter. Well, this is an inverter also. Why did they draw it this way? Because it's low true logic. And we have here E bar, which is not E enable. And that means that this is low true logic on this side. So low gives you a high. Over here, it's high true logic. So a high here gives you a low. And then you can see that we follow that with just the opposite. So here's not B. So whenever you see circles, you can say, ah, oh, we're in, in low true logic. And when we don't see circles, we're in high true logic. So B, not B, B. Um, and over here, also they've drawn them such that we have a, a low true and and a uh, inverter. So we have a high true and coming out the, coming out the end. Anyway, there you go. Chip of the day was a, a CD4555. Five, five, five. By request, somebody requested this one.